this little free library is at a park that I don't actually know the name of and I don't see a sign for it but it's what they call an open space which we have a lot of here in Albuquerque and it's basically just this big open wild area that people can walk trails around and it's next to the Rio Grande River and it's just really really beautiful it does get filled with mosquitoes at night but we used to have huge Pokemon events here once a month before they started doing the community days where we would gather donations of cash and food for different local organizations. And uh, we used to call it Como because it was near the intersection of Corza Montano, which is why I don't know the name of the actual park. But this little free library was not here when we used to do that. And so this is a rather recent addition. And on the back, can see it says books are uniquely portable magic and it was donated by Bosque Schools Harry Potter Alliance. Bosque School is a school that is actually right next to this open space area and um, apparently they have a Harry Potter Alliance which makes me really jealous that I am now too old to go to that school because I think it's like a elementary school or middle school or something but I think it's so cool that they have a Harry Potter Alliance and I need to find out more about what that is. So this little free library did have a glass uh, cover on the door, it looks like, but that glass got broken. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have inside. Or it looks like it was actually plastic that was on the inside, not glass. It's really sad that that got broken. That had to have been done on purpose. <sighs> Which is sad because it means when it starts raining, because we are now about to go into monsoon, monsoon season, all of these beautiful books will be damaged. So, what do we have here? We have some adult books. We got some kids books. Catch in the Rye, Macbeth. Now, someone has been here since I've been here. I came here like an hour ago and saw this, but these books are now arranged differently than when I came, so, which means somebody's been here and been looking, which is good, because that's the whole point of these little free libraries. We got some kids books in the back. I don't know what any of these books are. But yeah, and it's got like tons of headroom in there too. Like, it's huge. I love the color of it. It's only been, it, it hasn't been here three years, I know, because three years ago is when I used to come here. So I was just about to drive away and I saw this really cute little free library that you can't tell, but it's green. And check out that handle. Let's see. I love it. it says read there. Can't really see. In beads. All right, what do we got in here? Got some magazines. Uh, some adult books. Uh, Shirley Temple autobiography. Some romance novels. And a letter to Mama. Uh, I am a mom, but I'm not mama, so I want to read their letter. Oh, some poems. So, it's really cute. It's like a standard... Oh, that's cool. I like the... Uh... So, I was driving around, specifically looking for little free libraries, and found this one, which is absolutely adorable. And let's open it up and see what we've got inside. Huffman Investigations. I've heard of the author, haven't heard of the book. Calvin Senorita, Classrooms, Slave Dancer. Well, I haven't seen that book since I was really little. Oh, J.R. Token. So, some cool books. I like the smell. You can really smell the wood. I mean, you can't, but I can. But yep, so there's another edition in the super adorable little free libraries we have in this city. So this is a cute little free library that I found on accident. It actually has the address on it and our city and when it was established, which is new. I've never seen that on one of the plaques before. And it's labeled for adult books and children's books. So go ahead and see what is in here. I don't know any of the adult books. Oh, they got Wishbone and Magic Tree House. 
which are both great series, of course. But yeah, they've got some magazines in here and a DVD in here too. So, and it's a nice size, like it's pretty big. But yeah, so that is a really cute one. So this little free library is actually on a, like a tree stump, so that's really cool. And it's got some ants and some spiders on it. Let's see. Got some adult books, Aragon, nice, Hamlet, a copy of Aragon. Okay. So yeah. So I don't know what Bramble Hood Heart is. I have to look at that. Yeah. Really cute. I love this one. I love that it's on an actual tree. So this is actually the little free library that brought me into this area today because I drove past it the other day and wanted to come and check it out closer. I love this door. It is so gorgeous. It's got a little hook on the side. Look at that door. It's nice and thick and gorgeous. So let's see what books we got in here. Then we have to look at Rapunzel and the Last Lagoon. So there's some really good books. Nicholas Sparks, Marley and Me. Nice. Really good selection. I love its color. It's so cute. And the roof. It's an actual like roofing roof. So cute. Mm -hmm. 